Glad you could join me, Stock. Let's both do our best today. Ready for your next assignment? In this potential world, you'll be heading to Alistel. I picked up an unusually strong reading from beneath the castle. It's feasible someone is already tampering with the artifact. I have no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Of course. Spot on reply. Have a safe trip and don't do anything reckless. This is underneath the castle. It seems the prism is already sensing something as well. If I remember right, Fennel's secret lab should be just ahead. Maybe I should go check it out. What the? That must be where the artifact is being kept. I should go take a look. Fennel! Is it true that you put the Prophet's remains into this thaw machine? Stop with the yelling and feast your eyes upon my masterpiece! The ultimate mechanized man! Noah has transcended his mortal coil to become a true deity! A god in the machine, if you will. Have you lost your mind? Why are you mad, Hugo? Now you can stay by Noah's side forever. Good Lord, this is blasphemy. The Prophet would never wish to be defiled like this. He was the Thaumatech engineer. Becoming one with your research is heaven for a man like him. Damn you, Fennel! Take the Prophet out of that scrap heap right this instant! What are you blathering about? This is Noah now! What? Prophet Noah's corpse is inside that thaw machine? Of course! After all, Alastel still needs its Prophet. How pitiable. To be unable to return to dust and death. Poor Mr. Noah! Fennel, we can't overlook this. Yeah, oh, more pesky flies. If you dare get in my way, then prepare to be judged by a man-made god. Activate! I won't lose. Take this! Too slow! There! We've won. It's over, Fennel. Men are mortal, but a machine can auto-repair itself forever. This Thaumatech God is eternal! Not if I can help it! Whatever you try, it's futile. Please, Prophet Noah, rest in peace. Hugo! You fool! Those are the fruits of my technological labor! It's no use. The auto repairs can't keep up at this rate! No! 
My finest creation! It's all over now! I'll be holding on to this to make sure you don't do something that foolish ever again. No matter how you look at it, Noah's people still need him, even as a corpse. But you, do you really think the sheep of this land can go on without their shepherd? The people will be lost without their prophet to guide them. Nobody wants a machine to be their leader, though. Besides, Thalmatech is meant to help people, not rule over them. Hmm... It's just as he says. Isn't that so, Fennel? Noah! This is illogical! Impossible! Noah is dead! Be gone, Illusion! It won't disappear. Fine. Then I'll mechanize the human body until it sees through such lies! Yes! I'll complete the perfect fusion of man and Thaumatech! Hmm. I wish to entrust you with the core of my mechanized body. This allowed me to extend my life beyond its natural limits. With this core, you can do the impossible. A possibility once sealed off can now be accessed. A new possibility, huh? Just how much did Noah know? I suppose it'll forever be a mystery now. Welcome aboard, Stock. Thank goodness you didn't get hurt. Yeah, I'm all right. Here's the artifact. Thanks again for giving it a hundred percent. We're that much closer to saving the timelines. By the way, Noah gave something to me while I was there. So this can open a possibility that was once sealed off? What could he have meant by that? That core is not an artifact, so I don't know. Hmm, what does it mean? Hold on. I assumed he was dead after seeing that doll, but I never actually saw his body. Is it possible that Noah is still alive? That would explain Noah's words in that other potential world. The question now is who to show the core he gave you. It has to be Hugo. He's the one who is hiding the truth about Noah from the people of Alistel. Good idea, but you should still be on your guard around him. Of course. Hugo. Hugo, I have a question for you. Noah's still alive, isn't he? How, how did you... Wait, if Noah's not dead, how has Hugo been doing all this? Noah's health has presumably deteriorated to a point where he can no longer appear in public. <sighs> this will help Noah recover, right? That's... no, that's impossible. Where did you get that? Someone trusted me to see it safely into your hands. Now, what condition is Noah in? I need you to tell us. So be it. 
The Prophet's mechanized body has been malfunctioning for years. Therefore, I asked Fennel to preserve him in a state of suspended animation. Fennel? But he... That's right. I killed him. Without Fennel, the core is useless. Which means Noah... God... What have I done? My, my. Only now that you know Noah can be fixed do you regret killing me, huh? Uh, I'm not just some mechanical tool for keeping Noah alive. Fennel, how are you alive? I, I thought I destroyed you. I predicted that once Historica was used on you, you'd lose your already feeble mind and attack. I was quite right to install an auxiliary power source and an auto repair program within me. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You truly are the greatest Thaumatech engineer in all of Alistel. How silver-tongued from a man who destroyed me. I sincerely apologize for that. Please forgive me. Well, staring at your bald head is getting boring. Let's hurry along to where Noah is. And where is that exactly? In the hidden room next door, sleeping. Reviving him will be a delicate process, so stay put. You with the core, though. Come with us. What in the... Oh, this is different from the core I know. It might even be an upgraded version. Oh ho! A fusion with the structure of a Thaw Machine's core unit? What a quantum way of thinking. With new specs like these, overcoming the design flaws will be child's play. Truly, then we shall be blessed to see the Prophet restored to his former glory. But was the one who made it a genius or a madman? Such a bold attempt couldn't have been made without putting Noah's life in danger. Though it'd be a different story if they'd experimented directly on Noah's corpse. Enough talk. Can it save Noah or not? To put it quite simply, no. The core itself is too damaged. But earlier you said it could overcome the design flaws. Don't jump to conclusions. Thanks to this, I can reverse engineer the tech behind it. I will now upgrade the core. If it works, there should be no issues with reviving Noah. You should be honored to watch me work. Where am I? What have I... Prophet Noah, you're awake! I can't tell you how long I've waited for this day to arrive! Noah, sorry to bombard you right as you're waking up, but I need to explain what's happened. <sighs> yes, please do. So I have you and that core to thank for being back among the living. You have my gratitude. But of course. And what of you? What will you do now? Much has happened while I slumbered, it would seem. Perhaps it would be for the best if the public believed me dead. <sighs> Alistel is on the cusp of being born anew. I do not want the past to hold back its future. If my children are to follow their own path, then I must do the same. I've decided to follow Noah wherever he may go. There's nothing left for me here. Let the record state that I died alongside the Prophet. How will we explain that to those who knew the Prophet could be revived? I'll say the revival failed, and Hugo committed suicide to join Noah beyond the Veil of Death. I don't like the implication that my work was a failure. But very well, so be it. I did have fun tinkering on the core, so I'll grin and bear it. Well, I should be on my way. Use the Thaw Machine Transport Passage to slip away unnoticed. Farewell, Noah. Farewell to you too, Fennel. And you as well, Stock, son of possibility. <laughs> Even through the haze of dreams, I saw you doing all you could. Please continue to look after Alistel and the world.
Please, Prophet Noah, wait for me. I'm still going to continue my research for your information. Of course. Do as you will. You've returned, Stock. Protea and Hugo have been slain, and it would seem that peace has been restored to the world. But, I'm sorry. It's not over yet. I have added a new chapter to the White Chronicle. No matter what happens, please don't lose, Stock. Just in case. Danger and artifacts go hand in hand. Be prepared for it. Ready for your next assignment? Your next field trip is in the Imperial Ruins of Another World. It could have archaeological significance, so I'd like to come with you. Is that okay? If that's what you want. But why haven't you investigated it before? I've wanted to for a while. But the monsters there are just too fearsome for me to go alone. But I've got nothing to worry about with you there, right? That's right. I'll take care of any monsters that dare disrupt us. I knew I could count on you. Well, let's get going. Here we are, the Imperial Ruins. <gasps> What's the matter? You seem a little more subdued than usual. Whatever do you mean? Every other time you've started our trips together with a rant about the local history. <laughs> I can start now if you like. Perhaps later. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Ah, the prism is reacting. It shouldn't be too far away. Then let's get this excavation underway. Into the ruins we go. pages here. They're tattered, but I think I can make out a few fragments. What do they say? Just a second. Let's see here. With the power of Thaumatek, a small nameless country united the continent under one banner. This new empire could see into the future, allowing them to win the battle to unify Vancouver. That's what I can make out. Does it say anything else? Sorry, but I don't think I can make out anything else here. Maybe we should look elsewhere. of an old book. It's not much, but I think I can make out some words. Let's see here. Okay, I'll summarize what I can. The Emperor and the Empress had two children. 
both of whom were taught the art of Thaumatech. But that somehow led to the Empire's greatest tragedy. That tragedy must be referring to the desertification. Well, I suppose that's the most logical conclusion. Makes me wonder how exactly those children caused it. If we want to learn more, we'll need to find more clues. This book cover is torn off, but I can decipher a bit of what it says. Go for it, Nemesia. Leave it to me. Let's see. Suddenly, calamity struck the Emperor, Empress, and Princess. No sooner had that happened than Mana began to disappear from the Earth itself. The Lone Prince searched for a way to save his family and Mana itself. I think that's the only info worth repeating here. The prince mentioned there must be Prince Allium, the founder of Grand Orc. Presumably. It would make sense. And those are all the details you can glean from it? Unfortunately. I see. Now, where should I look next? I've already got stock with me, so maybe I'll go further in. What about the artifact? That is why we came here, after all. Oh. Of course. I just got a little bit absorbed in my field research. I didn't forget about our mission. I've kept an eye on my artifact readings this entire time, too. Does that mean you have an idea of where it is? Yeah, but it's strange. It keeps shifting in location, even when we're standing perfectly... Perhaps the artifact is on the move. Ah, that would explain it. Oh, it stopped. And it's not far from here. This is our chance, then. Let's go. Let me guess, that monster has the artifact? I'd say that's a solid theory. All right, stand back, Nemesia. You don't need to tell me twice. Break a leg, stop. Finally over. <sighs> Artifact retrieved. A plus for your hard work. Well then, it's about time we headed back to the Dunamis. What, 
You're done investigating? Honestly, I could spend forever on field research, but we got what we came for, so let's call it a day. Understood. And we're back. Not only did we get an artifact, but it was quite an educational field trip. Glad to hear you enjoyed yourself. Here, take this before I forget. Thanks. You've helped me out in more ways than you know. Oh, you look fired up this time. Which project are you tackling? Ready for your next assignment? The artifact in the next world is around the Imperial Ruins. But something feels off. How do I put it? It's just not normal. None of the possible worlds so far have been normal, Nemesia. That's not what I mean. There's an artifact reading, but sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. I've never seen anything quite like it. Either way, I'll have to head in and figure out what's going on. Will you be joining me? I know how valuable the Imperial Ruins are to your research. I'd like to go with you, but I think I'll stay here this time. Honestly, it's creeping me out. If you run into any problems, though, make sure to come back. Better safe than sorry. All right. I suppose I'll just head in by myself, then. Please do. Oh, and if you dig up any info on the Empire, I'd love to know about it. These are definitely the Imperial Ruins. But I don't understand what's going on. Why are there so many people here? Either way, Nemesia said there's an artifact somewhere nearby. I should start by gathering information. Yes. Yes. Ah. Mm hmm How can I help you? Need something? I can tell you're staring at me. Wait, Nemesia? No, it can't be. <laughs> I got teleported. What's going on here? Indeed. Yes. 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 Huh. 
Of course. There you are. Is that you, Nemesia? Why aren't you saying anything? Don't you need something from me? This again. Why does this world's Nemesia keep showing up? It seems like she wants me to do something. Please, Nemesia, I need you to tell me why you're doing this. The prism? It's sensing an artifact nearby. So you really are Nemesia. An A-plus answer. You are my final hope. Please, help me. Nemesia, wait! She wants help, huh? Welcome aboard, Stock. I take it you got the artifact back? Without much trouble, yes, here. This puts us one step closer to stopping the desertification. Thank you. So tell me more about the ruins. Did anything creepy happen? Yeah. The memories left behind in the ruins had taken the forms of actual living people. It seems the citizenry was quite happy with life under the Empire. I suppose Imperial Thaumatech benefited everyone, not just the Empire's royal family. That appeared to be the case. Sounds like the artifact gave form to the residual thoughts of the people who live there. Either way, how mysterious. An A-plus investigation stock. What was even more mysterious was that you were there too. Uh, what? Really? I'm here for you, Nemesia. What? What does that mean? You get an F minus for weirding me out. Hey, Nemesia. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. All this time, I've been gathering artifacts for you. And all that help has been invaluable to my research. What would you like to know? Well, what are you planning to do with these artifacts? <sighs> That's. As you know, the desertification began when someone in the Empire caused a terrible accident. What I haven't told you is that as we speak, a certain something is draining mana from the land. And that loss of mana is what's causing the desertification. Yes, and only by defeating it can the drainage stop for good. The artifacts are the tools needed for that. They're like the cogs of a greater machine. What? Are you saying they form some kind of weapon? Hmm... You could call it that. I might suggest an alternate word choice, however. I would call it a relic. One not unlike your own. Its name is the Red Chronicle. Another chronicle? The Black and White Chronicles can grant visions of the past and future respectively, while the Red Chronicle lets its user gaze upon the infinite possibilities of other worlds. Infinite possibilities? Does that mean...? <laughs> Extra credit for figuring it out so quickly. But another mishap left the Red Chronicle scattered and torn. Only these artifacts can fix it. So you need them to restore the Red Chronicle. Bingo. On that note, this very ship is an artifact itself. Bet you didn't figure that out. You're right about that. 
I never would have expected the Dunamis to hold such a secret. Anyway, I've recovered more than a few artifacts thanks to you. Yet, it's still not enough to fully repair the Red Chronicle. Well, I've come with you this far. I may as well stick with it until the very end. That's the spirit stock. Let's put on our thinking caps and find some artifact. You're always welcome aboard. Not another step. 